My daughter Emma was born missing the left ventricle of her heart, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. So she's had multiple surgeries. She just had her fifth open heart surgery here. If we didn't have this hospital here in Spokane, we would probably have to fly as we have before to other hospitals before we knew of this facility. We flew to California, we've gone to Delaware, we've gone far away, so it's a blessing to have this here. Taking care of children is unique in several ways. First of all, from the way their body functions, they're very different than adults. But also from a psychological and social standpoint, things are very different caring for a child. You're not caring for an individual alone, you're caring for a whole family. This started with a group of pediatric physicians who said, we have an idea that makes sense for the pediatric population, for the children of the Spokane region. So they brought it together. They had breakfast on a Saturday morning for over a year trying to figure out how to do this. And then they approached the hospitals and said, this is in the best interest of the pediatric population. We had, over the years, had a lot of pediatric specialists that came to Spokane. And the pediatricians and pediatric specialists realized over time that it would be better for the kids in the region if we could have one location where most of the kids were cared for. We went to the administrations here in town and said, this is what we think needs to happen. Sacred Heart was good enough to step up and say, you know, we're getting ready to do a building project. We're interested in looking at the feasibility of including the idea of a children's hospital in it. And it took off from there. It doesn't look like another regular hospital. There are giraffes on the wall and elephants and, and things like that that make it feel less like uh, a hospital and some place that's not so intimidating to a child. We mocked up the patient rooms that we were about to build and we were having staff, physicians, families and children come into those rooms and they were able to tell us everything that we had done wrong before we built it. And they told us a lot of things that we had forgotten that we should include in the room design. <music> Clinical excellence at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital really is a team approach, including the parents in every aspect of care that we do, including the physicians, the staff, and the decision-making about what our next step is for this child's care, that all results in excellent clinical care. The doctors here, if they find something that they don't know how to deal with, they're not afraid to ask questions to people outside of here as well, which is very comforting. How are you, boo? In order to provide excellent care for children, we have to come together as a clinical team. I think one of the challenges, of course, in these kinds of efforts is balancing the financial piece with the clinical piece. That is, the things that the physicians and pediatric specialists want in the care of their patients, and what are the financial realities of that. There's many ways to do things, but focusing on excellent patient care while being physically responsible is a good route, usually. I know that they go out of their way to take good care of the families. I mean, I feel like sometimes the patient here too. I'm eight months pregnant right now and they're taking my blood pressure as often as they take Emma's. So they're taking very good care of me.